Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? Let me know in the comments, please. I want to hear from you. I need to hear from you. I feel like I've been in a bit of a lull lately. I feel like um, I haven't had anything to say for a while. Um, coming down here and recording every day has been a bit of a, bit of a, of a task. Um, it's never felt that way before. It's never felt like a chore, but it's felt like a chore lately. And I think that the reason is, as I thought about it today, um, finally found the flaw <laughs> with being a hermit, you know, like if it was up to me, my life would continue on as it has for the last few months and I would be great. Like I get to work from home. I get to do a uh, good work because I'm very focused here. I've done a lot of work um, since being on work from home and, uh, it's been great. <clears throat> I'm saving money and I'm less stressed and, and stuff's getting done and I'm getting a lot of housework done. Um, because, you know, instead of going out and, and shopping or going on trips or whatever, um, I'm just staying at home and working on the house and a whole lot of that needed done. So I've been doing all of that, but as far as this goes, as far as coming down here and talking to you every day, I don't have anything to talk about. Like, I'm not in the world seeing things. There's no inspiration in my day-to-day -day work. You know, I, I wake up. I've still been waking up at the normal time, which is between 5.30 and 6. I, my body just kind of wakes up. And uh, I don't start till 7, so I kind of chill on the couch for a little bit, play some video games, watch some movies. Not movies, that's weird. Watch some YouTube videos or whatever uh, before I start the day, and then I start my day. And then I work until 3, and I get done, and then I do whatever it is I do for the evening. And um, because of that cycle, I, I haven't communicated with other people. I don't know what's going on in the world. I don't watch the news. I don't have cable, for one. I don't read the news. I don't keep up with any of that stuff. So it's like I have no gauge on the outside world and that means that I don't have anything to talk about so you know when I was thinking about today like what am I going to say I haven't had anything to say for a while and I think that's the reason because I haven't done anything for a while I mean I've done a lot of things um I've been laying laminate flooring for the past three weekends two weekends prior to that it was painting I've, I've gutted my daughter's rooms we threw away 90% of their stuff. It was whatever they had left here was stuff they really didn't want. And it was stuff from their early childhood that they were just like, I don't want any of that. And it was all pretty crappy. So we trashed like 90% of their, their belongings here, um, threw away all of their furniture and repainted their rooms. And then, um, you know, now I, I, Keely's room is basically done. I need to get some better furniture in there. I've got her... I got her a new bed and a new mattress, but she needs a computer desk that's... The computer desk she has is kind of crappy. Uh, new computer chair. She needs some shelves. She needs a uh, she needs a dresser. So I, I've got to do that sort of stuff. I don't know if I'm going to make any of that. I think I'd rather just buy something um, that I know will get done. Like I can just buy a, a small desk and put it together kind of thing. But I might make it. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what the time frame brings and, and whether I can actually crank out some videos. So I've been doing all of that. Now I'm starting on Roland's room, my oldest, and I've got half of the room tonight. I finished half of the room and flooring. Now I have to move all the furniture over, tear the carpet out, and do the other half of the room's flooring. But the painting is done in there. The curtains are hung. Uh, she has a new bed and mattress also. I have to get rugs for her. She has a couch in her room that was our old couch that she wanted to keep. It's in really great condition. Um, and then she needs a dresser and a desk and some shelving and you know, so she's going to need some furniture. So I've been doing all of that. But I can't really, like, if you've ever laid laminate flooring, you click boards together. And I do it a little differently than most. I use my feet and I just kick it into place. Um, but that's not interesting to talk about. Um, I haven't been reading at all. I haven't read, I haven't even read a chapter of a book in the last uh, two months. I haven't drawn 
much of anything. I've drawn a couple of woodcuts. I have one more drawn that I need to actually just come down here and cut, but I haven't had the inspiration to do that. I haven't been reading anything. Um, I started a game, I guess. I had an idea for a web-based game. Not a video game, but a web-based game, like a website that is a game. Uh, and I started working on the code for that, and it kind of turned into... Uh, a bit of an experiment of, of uh, as I was thinking about how I would make this game, I decided that I wanted to have like some sort of robust, random weapon generator, kind of like um, any of the games, like any of the loot gathering games where you kill monsters, open a chest, and you just get like a sort of, a great sort of, of unholy justice plus five or whatever. I wanted to make a, a generator for that, and I thought, how can I code that? So I did that as an exercise, and I've put a lot more energy into it than I expected to. I got the exercise working, and I was able to generate these cool weapons. Uh, but now it's turning into something, I don't know, maybe it will be a game, or maybe it'll just be a website where you can go generate custom weapons or something based on some criteria. I don't know. I haven't decided. So there's been that, but that's not necessarily even interesting. And um, You know, I, I don't know how I'm going to program it. I don't know if I'm going to use if it's going to be functional or if it's going to be object-oriented. Uh, I can see some reasons to use object-oriented for the, the, uh, like the objects, like a sword or a shield or a potion or something like that. Um, but as far as the functional, you know, this is one of the situations where I don't mind mixing object-oriented and functional programming. The main game loops would be functional, but they could use these classes, you know, uh, to hold information, and I, I, I see the usefulness in that, but uh, at the same time, it also, for this sort of very simple, quote, game that I would make out of this, um, it could just be an array. It doesn't need to be an actual class that does anything. It's not mutable. Once a weapon is generated, that's it. Like, you, it's not a mutable thing. It would never get modified in any way, so it doesn't need to keep track of itself, if that makes any sense. But anyway, that's beside the point. That's not really interesting. What I'm just trying to say is I felt like I've been in a lull and I felt like, man, this is a chore to come down here and figure out something to talk about. And I realized it's because I don't have anything to talk about. I haven't done anything that I can talk about easily. So that being said, I want to hear what you've been doing recently. And I want you to share some things with me that I can talk about tomorrow. Ask me a question. Share something with me. Um... Send me a video to watch, and I'll do a reaction video or something like that, and we'll put something together for tomorrow that's at least a little bit interesting, so we can have at least one good episode this week. That's what I'm tasking you with. Thank you for being here, as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends, and wonderful people. I really appreciate you, and I will see you tomorrow. Today's word you should know is ascetic. It is a noun, meaning a person who deliberately chooses to live a plain and simple life, characterized by a lack of material possessions and strong self-discipline in all matters of behavior. When Steve Jobs started Apple, a magazine profile portrayed him as an ascetic, noting that he had no furniture in his apartment. Ascetic. A-S-C-E-T-I-C.